Oh, oh, okay. Hello, good? Yeah. Well, hello there. I've been expecting you. My boys told me that you were interested in this course. So here I am to guide you. Before I start, I would like to summon one of my friends to help me. Sit down, sit down. Oh. So Alicia, what is animation course exactly? Well, this is an education program creates to hone the skills of promising youth like me. In this path, we are taught the fundamentals of creating content, such as writing script, storyboarding, making animatics, and the okay. like. We are also introduced to the industry via animation pathway where everything is possible to make. The limit is our imagination. Here are some projects that we students make during our year of study. But there's requirements that is needed if you want to enroll here. One of them is for you to submit portfolio. So, Pupu, um, how do we make a portfolio? There are two important things you have to note when making your portfolio. The first one is that you can only submit one PDF file and only in PDF format. The second one is the file, the PDF file, should not exceed 30 megabytes. Okay, so there are three main things to include in your portfolio. Uh, the first one is a video to introduce yourself. You can upload this video in YouTube, Google Drive, or any suitable site and then place the link of the video in your PDF file. The second one is 5 to 10 of your best artwork. This can include uh, digital and traditional drawings, figure drawings, character designs, animations, and so on. You can also include non-drawing artwork like photographs, um, clay modeling, and sculptures. We recommend that you also write a little bit about each of your artwork to explain what, what they are, uh, what are their meanings, how you made it, and anything else you want to add about those artwork. Basically, just put your artwork that best represents who you are and what you do. And the third one is a page of your resume. In this resume, you have to include your basic information and your contact information like your phone numbers and your email. Um, it doesn't have to be too formal or professional, but you can also include your work experience, your achievements and your skills that are related to this program. If you're stuck, you can just refer to Google for reference. So that's it, the three main components in your portfolio that you must include. Be as creative as you want, but make sure to make it organized and easy to understand. That's all. Oh, that's a lot of information to take. So, what do you need to keep in mind when you make the portfolio? 
So the stuff you need to keep in mind, eh? First of all, the video you made. Remember, talk about who you are and how it relates to animation. Answer this question, okay? Who are you? What can you do? Why did you choose Unimas? And what do you want to be if you finish studies here? For the portfolio, make sure you arrange it in a very neatly and nicely uh, fitting manner. Manners make men, they say. And showcase a variety of your works, media, if you can. 2D, 3D, traditional, anything goes. Lastly, the stuff you put uh, should at least look finished and dedication has been put into your crafts. And not like this thing or this or even this. My next question for you is um, what do we need to keep in mind to not do in our portfolio? Uh, I think we should really do uh, a little bit of. Oh. Oh. Give me my. <laughs> Give me my. Quick. Sorry, sorry, bro. Oh, my leg, bro. Oh. Keep the leg off. There are several things you should not do during submitting your portfolio to our teams. The three points are professionalism, NSFW, and plagiarism. So to be start with, plagiarism. Don't copy other people's work and make it on your own. It affects your portfolio and our opinion on that. As for second, NSFW, which is not safe for work. Please don't include nudity or any other 18 plus things on your portfolio. It also will affect your portfolio. As for third thing, it is professionalism. Even if your artwork is unfinished or it's not suitable, please don't include it. It will affect the professionalism on you. Just make it simple and look it professional. Even if it's not, that's it. We are waiting for you and we... Shut up, Ross. Um, <coughs> very energetic, Mr. Cha. Well, that's it. Um, you might be wondering where you should submit all of those. Here, I'll show you. This is where you will submit all of your uh, files. Make sure your file is in PDF format and it doesn't exceed 30 megabyte. That is very important. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next semester. Thank you, sir. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on.